Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, if you give me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into the baby eventually has to be delivered. Okay, the baby eventually has to be delivered. Okay, because you got to think about a real woman that's pregnant. All right, and she had those birth pains. And she had those contractions. Okay, and then she'll have a couple and then it'll slow down. And she'll have more and then it'll slow down again. And each time it slows down and comes back, it comes back stronger and stronger and stronger all the way up to the water breaking, man. And the baby being delivered. But all those signs are signs that it's time. Okay. From the beginning all the way to the end, man. So she can go to the hospital and get prepared for delivery. Okay. Well, that's what's happening now in the spirit. Okay. So when you go back to verse 3, let's read it again. For the vision, matter of fact, go to the top. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will send to me and what I shall answer when I'm approved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right, man. And it's plain right now. Okay, that's why the truth is out. That's why understanding and wisdom has risen up, man. And the gospel is going through the four corners of the earth because of wisdom. That's the only way he can make it through the four corners of the earth. Okay? So the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking. Though it tarry, Wait for it. Okay, so it seemed like at times it's slowing down, but that's the same thing that happens with a woman, okay, that's getting ready to have birth, getting prepared to deliver. The same thing happens. That's why it talks about birth pains in the scripture and things of that nature. You got to think about it, man. Every time it seems to slow down here, something happens harder, man. Okay, more stronger signs, more stronger things come to pass. More contractions. Then it'll slow down again for a little bit. People think everything is good. All of a sudden, boom. Something happens and it hits harder than the last. And people are realizing that right now. They're seeing that, man. Whether they realize it or not, that's what's happening. But they're seeing it, man. Okay, thinking everything good or COVID over and whatever that's happening. It seems like for a little bit, it'll slow down. Okay, but that's to keep these people asleep. That's how a lot of people are going to be caught off guard, all right, in that spot where everything seems like it's slowing down. But you got to understand that Yahweh Shema Shah has the power to make it happen quickly, okay? You already hear about the mark of the beast, which is prophecy, which is a huge prophecy, okay? You've seen a lot of things come to pass, man, and forming up, okay, for that big shebang, for Jacob's trouble, man. It's happening. So look at it like that, man, in the spirit. Then you will understand that when you see things slowing down, that's part of the plan. Yahweh Shema Washai is doing that on purpose. So let's read verse 3 again. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, talking about the prophecies, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's speaking, though it tarry. So it's speaking and though it seem like it's tearing at the same time. Okay, that's why I broke it down before this, like that. Though it tarry, wait for it. You got to be patient. Wait for it, man. Okay, because you don't want to be caught like a thief in the night. Why? Because it slowed down a little bit or it seemed like it slowed down. So you slowed down in your spirit. Okay, lollygagging, not really paying attention. Okay, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, meaning it's going to come on time. Okay, verse four. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Talking about Esau, but the just shall live by faith. So you got to have faith enough and understand that it's going to come to pass. Though it tarry, wait for it, man. It's going to come. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10, starting at verse 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry, meaning it's going to come to pass. Now the just shall live by faith, saying it again. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him, man. Okay? And at times where it seems like it's slowing down, that's a trap, man. If you don't pay attention, you can get caught in that trap and start to draw back. Okay, getting too relaxed, getting too complacent, not watching, not paying attention. Then all of a sudden, boom, man, 
she could go crazy pretty fast because they control time, all right, and they control how fast it's going to go, man. They can put it in Esau's mind to go ahead and say, you know, that's it, and go crazy, and then before you know it, boom, <laughs> the Lord about to come back any day, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go to verse 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, talking about destruction, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Right. All right, let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Right, man, he know what he's doing, man. Okay, we got to be patient. All right. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Right, man. They getting caught. Okay? They getting caught in those spots where it seemed like things are slowing down. You know, in their mind, it seemed like ain't nothing happening. You see? But it's long-suffering toward usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And we know the elect is going to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, man. What manner of person that you ought to be? But if you think everything is slowing down, you get caught in that trap. You ain't going to think about this, man. You ain't going to focus on the inner man, all right, to be prepared to stand in that day. Verse 12, looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That day is coming. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent, that you may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Right, man. So, you don't want to be caught like a thief, because you got caught in that, oh, it's tearing, it ain't coming. Oh, the Lord is slack because I've been in the truth for 10 years and it ain't happened yet. But if you're paying attention and you're measuring the times, like it talks about in 2 Andrews 9 chapter, then you can see through wisdom that it's happening. Okay? There's times where more things are magnified and talked about, but like I said, look at the pattern of the contractions. Every time it seems like it's slowing down, the next thing brings it to another level. And it keeps doing that, man. I've been seeing that for years. Okay? But eventually, okay, that baby has to be delivered. And where are you going to be? What mind state are you going to be in? That's the point. Are you going to be ready? That's the point. Now, from there, let's go to Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And we've seen that, man, for years, rumors of wars. For nation shall rise against nation, and the kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence, and in earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, when you read other versions, it says all these are the beginning of birth pains. Because that's what that is, man. Contractions. Okay, contractions. And it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger, man. And you see things are getting more wickeder. And more wickeder and more wickeder. And you see the gospel moving more further and more further through the four corners of the earth. Okay? The gospel has to do that. Then shall it end come. As the scripture says. Okay? Let's jump to verse 43. But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken up. Right, man. You got to watch, man. Otherwise, you're going to get caught in that trap. Well, things seem like it's slowing down, so you slow down, okay, but you might not be able to speed back up, okay? That's happened to plenty of men in this truth, I guarantee you. I know it, man. It's a fact. Verse 44, therefore be you also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Now, why would you think not? Because it seemed like things are slowing down. That's that, though it tarry, it shall not tarry. Wait for it. So you need wisdom to be able to understand that, man, and really put it in real time in your mind to watch and see what you're seeing and break it down that way and have an understanding, man, so that you can make it, okay? Keep going down the right path. I'm going to end on verse 45. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household 
to give them meat in due season. And the prophets right now on the planet Earth, Yahweh Shemar has made rulers of Israel. Okay? That's why he has given us the wisdom to break this down to you. So that you can understand, man, the meat in due season, man. All right? We giving you meat in due season so that you can stand and be ready. You can eat it, okay, process it, and get ready, man. Stay ready, even if things seem like they're slowing down. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall not tarry. So with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha, Kodash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honest to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to Yahweh, that is doing the truth in sincerity. Shalom.